Despite rising costs, dining out remains popular for foodies and those just looking for a meal away from home. A cheap place for even like a, a modest entree, 22 bucks. Restaurant tabs are high due to rising supply chain pressures, global unrest and inflation. Menu prices around the country rose more than 8% between September 2021 and September 2022. It's Boston, I mean everything's expensive is what it is. You go to any normal, I would say, bar, grill, etc., you're probably looking at 15 plus for uh, an entree. Despite Boston's budget-breaking reputation, some restaurants still manage to offer affordable fare without sacrificing flavor. Galleria Umberto in the North End is one example. Diners flock to the pizza shop and wait in line for a $2.25 slice. Chinatown is a reliable place to find huge portions and scrumptious savings. Taiwanese-style pan fry dumping, that's most, most popular. Washington Street is home to Dumpling Cafe. Entrees under $13 make up much of the restaurant's lengthy menu. Most people today, when they're coming, they are just looking for their dumpling. Michael Chow opened Dumpling Cafe in 2011. He says chef Peter Wang serves hundreds of dumplings and mini juicy buns every day. Chow says the cuisine stands out in a sea of options because of traditional cooking methods and the use of fresh ingredients. He is the first one in the Chinatown to have the Taiwanese style the restaurant. He's the number one in the Chinatown. Out in the burbs, authentic dumplings and noodles pack in flavor and value at Jean's Chinese Flatbread Cafe in Woburn. Meals hover around the $10 to $12 range, says owner Gene Wu. I think that reasonable price for all the ingredients this couple years go up a lot. But I'm still thinking right now we just don't make money like before. Wu immigrated to the United States from China in 1997 to attend college. He says his popularity surged in part because of his traditional cooking skills. I made a lot of friends here. You know, during the summer, they like come to my house for party. And they come to my, <laughs> come to my house for noodles. They know I can make noodles. They love it. Then they keep telling me, hey, Gene, open a restaurant. Wu opened his first restaurant in 2010. He says he focuses on high quality ingredients. We make the fresh noodle from scratch. When the customer picking order, also we try to use a local fresh vegetable. Fast service and treating customers like family are priorities for Wu. We're not changing a lot. We have some customer, you see some of the young kids right here, they come here for college. After college, many years, they come back to here. You know, they just want to come back for the noodle. Wu says the best sellers are the dishes that feature hand-pulled noodles. This one includes slow-cooked lamb, broth, chili oil, and dried lily flowers. Also, the number 16 hot sour hand-pulled noodle soup. That one we support. A lot of fresh vegetable from our local fresh, <laughs> fresh vegetable. Wu says one of the best values under $11 is the hot and sour soup, which boasts 13 house-made pork dumplings. Wu says whatever customers choose from the menu, it's made with love. He's humbled by his customers' loyalty and keeps some of their photos on the restaurant's walls for inspiration. Not like only making money from the customer. They are, they are not ATM. They're friends. They're hoping us each other. Yeah. And Jean's also has flatbreads, hence the name of the restaurant. Mm -hmm. For seven bucks, you can enjoy slow cooked pork or lamb stuffed between soft styled Chinese mm. bread. That sounds good. And back to Chinatown and the Dumpling Cafe. If you have cravings at odd hours, they're open late, 1130 on weeknights, 130 in the morning on Friday and Saturday, if you have that late craving. All right.